The Guilford County Association of Educators asking school board members tonight to delay the district's reentry plans, saying they fear moving back into classrooms can lead down a dangerous path. ABC 45's Samir Nefsi joining us live in studio with much more from Guilford educators tonight. Samir. Yeah, Camilla, it boils down to safety for these educators. Now, they want to be back in class with their students teaching, but they want their COVID-19 vaccine before doing so. Educators want to be back in the building. That's very important to us. We miss our students. We want to see them. But before heading back to in-person learning, the Guilford County Association of Educators sending a rallying cry to the district school board members for a safe re-entry. For us, a safe reopening includes having all 10,000 of our employees become vaccinated. Currently, just under 500 staff members have been vaccinated for the virus as they independently met state vaccination guidelines, leaving many Guilford County educators with the same feeling. I don't want to pass the virus to my students or have my students give it to me. Um, it's, it's just, it seems silly to, to not get the vaccine first. For high school special education teacher Sarah Jones, last week's announcement by Governor Roy Cooper to reopen schools was surprising. And then he makes this announcement that we're going to open up, which really took a lot of us off guard because we were not prepared for that at all. I thought I would have my vaccine by now, um, but I don't. Guilford counselor Shana Richard says the decision to head back to class presents a potentially deadly risk. That does continue to put our teachers at risk. Our elementary teachers are already being put at risk because they are going into the building every day and they are teaching children face to face. I love my job and I love teaching and I want to get back to normal as quickly as possible. The school board did acknowledge the educators concerns during the school board meeting tonight, saying that they will do their best to help educators get a vaccine when possible. Reporting in studio, Samir Nafsi, ABC 45 News.